Do you like smart devices? I do. I feel like Tony Stark when I walk into my house with my Google Home Assistants, my smart light bulbs, my smart LEDs, my smart plugs, and all these kind of things. But sometimes when you have lots of smart devices, you've often bought them from lots of different companies and you have lots of different smart apps and all these kind of things can be very confusing. Wouldn't it be great if there was a more simple way to do this and to manage your smart home devices? Well, I think I may have just found the solution and I've just got my first order as well from a company called Hey I'm Home. So let's check it out and see what I've got. Welcome to my channel where I review tech, gaming and other stuff. If you're new here, please do me a great favor, a massive favor, hit the subscribe button and hit that notification bell so you know when I go live with videos like that. I'd really appreciate it. And also just hit the likes because YouTube algorithms like it and I love it as well. So uh, that would be really marvelous. Okay, so I've reviewed uh, Google Home speakers on this channel before and I have a myriad of smart devices around the home from thermostats, light bulbs, LED strips, plugs, even a diffuser. Many of these are from different companies and some are from obscure Chinese brands from Amazon, etc. All with different apps and although I can control them all through my sort of Google uh, Home device, it would be nice if there was a sort of a, a one-stop site where I could get all my smart devices um, that didn't use a smart hub. I don't want a smart hub for them like the Philips kind of range, which I feel is kind of a bit dated and stuff like that. I just want a smart light bulb or a smart plug that works independently of a sort of a controlling hub and all that kind of stuff. Well, I think I've just discovered the site uh, and it's called heyimhome.co.uk. Heyimhome.co.uk. And I thought I'd give them a go. The website's really cool and there's even an app on there which will help you pick the smart devices to suit your kind of requirements. So you tell the website how many rooms you've got in the house, what kind of you know types of rooms, how many bathrooms, bedrooms, all that kind of stuff and what you need. And then it will put together a little package for you. And they have things from LED strips, LED power strips, uh, you know, so basically plugs and stuff like that, a smart bell, doorbell, I'm particularly interested in the smart doorbell because um, I am tempted to get a Google Nest doorbell, but they are expensive. And you also need to check out whether your wiring uh, for your house, for your doorbell is suitable. And that's sort of an extra pain in the butt and all of that kind of stuff. So, hey, I'm home, do an 80 pound battery operated smart doorbell with camera. So I thought I'm in. So I didn't use the questionnaire app on this occasion because I thought I'd just test out, first of all, I'd just test out a couple of products first and I opted for the doorbell and a, a candlelight bulb uh, to start with. Now, sometimes I've had issues with connecting my smart devices with my BT Home Hub and that's the way that the BT Home Hub works. BT Home Hub operates in a smart way in which it decides you know, to assign which devices get to sort of run off the 2.4 gigahertz Wi-Fi and which devices get to run off the 5 gigahertz uh, Wi-Fi. And it it sorts that all out and that's sort of great. It makes life easy and all of, all of that. But sometimes trying to connect devices to it can be frustrating because it will say, this is a 2.4 gigahertz device only and the BT will be trying to connect it with a 5 and so you won't be able to kind of connect. And sometimes I found that the BT Home Hub uh, doesn't see the device. Now there is a way around this, you can manually change the settings in your BT Home Hub, but I don't want to get down into the weeds and that kind of level of things. I just want things to work out of the box based on the default settings. That is the point. So I'm always a bit nervous about introducing new smart devices, which I haven't kind of previously, previously tested. My Hey I'm Home order has just arrived. Here it is in this nice box. There, as, I, as I said, hey, I'm home there, nice packaging there. So we're gonna see whether it plays nicely with my BT Home Hub. So without further ado, why don't we get on with the unboxing? Okay, let's see what we've got. Oh, 
Oh wow, look. Look at the way it's packaged here. You've got, hey, I've just ordered two items here. I haven't done the sort of the package of items, but here you go. I'm your custom smart home kit. Hi there, thanks for ordering your custom smart kit. In this box you'll find everything you need to convert your place into the ideal smart home. We've included an easy setup guide with everything to get started with everything right away. Your order was packed by Joel. Thank you, Joel, from Hey I'm Home. And there's a little guide here and everything. I haven't ordered a lot. All I've actually ordered here is the I'm a smart video doorbell. I'm a smart light bulb. I bought two of these. Now it's the candle type variety there. It also comes with the bayonet. So there we are, really nicely presented. Let's just take that away. There you go, really nicely packaged. And then the Hey, I'm, I'm your smart home welcome guide. Gives you all about the setup, how to get started, download the app, lighting instructions, all of that, power strips, sensors, video surveillance, the works. So without further ado, let's get it set up. The setup process is very straightforward, but as I suspected, I did have an initial issue with my Wi-Fi finding the device. Now, as I said, this may be down to my BT Home Hub, or the fact that I have a whole ton of smart home devices all scrambling for Wi-Fi attention at the same time. However, the great thing about the Hey app is that it gives you a number of options in the way that you can set up your device. Now, the first is that it basically looks for the device using your network and then tries to connect it with your network. And I tried that initially and wasn't successful. The second is using AP or an access point. Basically, the device sets it sets up its own little Wi-Fi access point. You find that on your phone, so you find that Wi-Fi connection on your phone. You connect that Wi-Fi on that work to treat uh, and it connected seamlessly for the first light bulb. So it got over that initial issue I had. Now the second light bulb, I tried that, but it didn't work straight away, but no problem. The Hey app has a third option, which is for you to use the Bluetooth on your phone to be able to connect the devices over Wi-Fi. So I chose that option and boom, connected seamlessly. The fact that you are given three different methods to connect the device to your network is, is great in my opinion. And it takes into consideration the various idiosyncrasies of people's Wi-Fi setups and how people's networks in their houses can vary, you know, quite a lot. Once everything was connected, it worked an absolute treat. I'm able to control the light colors, the brightness. It even has preset scenes depending on your need or mood. And you can also edit and create your own scenes. You can group the lights together. So you have the option of controlling them as one thing rather than the separate lights. As both these are my bedside lights, it's cool to be able to switch them on and off as one. You can still control them individually if you want. And in addition, you can rename the devices so they make sense to you. So I've renamed these bedside lights, bedside lights one and bedside lights two. The app is really super intuitive and I found it really easy to use. Next step was, of course, connecting them to my Google Home so I could control them through Google Assistant and through the voice assistant. OK, Google, switch on my bedroom lights. If you have Google Home, just follow the process for connecting a new device to your Google Smart app on your phone search for the Hey Smart devices and it finds them straight away. And then you just assign them to your home and a specific room and voila. In terms of the doorbell, there were no instructions in the packaging for this, but no problem. Fortunately, the Hey I'm Home website has a clear explainer YouTube video. They've got lots of YouTube videos explain various setups and FAQs and stuff like that. And this will take you through the process. It's really simple to install. And it comes with his own door chime, like a kind of bog standard doorbell that you might get that has, you know, connects wirelessly to a doorbell. But of course, this has a HD camera and a wide angle lens, etc. And all of those cool things you expect with a smart app. 
You control interaction through the Hey Smart app and you can talk to the person at the door via your phone. You get an alert notification that appears on your phone if there's been activity or if the doorbell rings. You can record activity, you can take a photo and the app also comes with a history log so you know when people have been at your door. I mean, for the money, £80, I think the doorbell's really good value. I have a slight concern over the battery life of the doorbell itself. Um, we'll just have to see how long they last. On the app, there is an indicator of battery life. And oddly enough, they seem to sort of come at 40%. So maybe I should have charged them first. But you live and learn, you know. Recharging is super easy. And you can detach the doorbell from its holder and just recharge the batteries with a USB charger. The one thing with the camera feed is for now, it doesn't connect with the Google Nest devices. There's a limited number of cameras that work with the Nest. So, so I can't have it on my Google Home Hub screen for the moment. Uh, but whether that will change in the future, I don't know. OK, so overall, I'm pretty impressed with the simplicity of the Hey, I'm Home smart apps. They're very easy to set up which uh, I'm particularly pleased about, especially the fact that they give you at least three different options in order to make sure the smart device is connecting with your network. I have had other products I've bought from Amazon or eBay, just cheap smart devices, and then I've got them home and they've just, whatever I've done, they've just not connected. But at least uh, with the Hey, I'm Home smart devices, you've got those three options. So I'm really, really impressed. I love the whole marketing aesthetic and look of the website and the way that you can kind of select your lifestyle and how many rooms you've got and stuff. And then it makes recommendations or you can just buy the items you actually want. And I certainly will be going back to Hey, I'm Home. And this time I'll be using they do a discount, a discount code for your first order, which I didn't realize. So I didn't uh, take advantage of that. Dull. But generally, as I say, I think the prices are pretty good, uh, pretty reasonable and very easy to set up. The website is intuitive, the app is intuitive. It integrates really well with Google Home as well, which is exactly what I wanted. Um, the doorbell, as I say, for the price is pretty impressive. Obviously, I'm a bit worried about the batteries and how inconvenient it is having to kind of recharge them and how much I have to recharge them, but we'll see. But given the price, and I didn't have to do any rewiring or any of that, I just had to basically screw the attachment into the door and and that was it and I'm, I'm good to go i'm hoping it's going to be absolutely fine so overall pretty impressed i recommend you check out the website it's called heyimhome.co.uk so far so good i hope you enjoyed this video i hope you found it really really useful if you did do me a massive favor hit the likes because youtube algorithms love it and if you're new here hit the sub and hit the notification bell so you know when i do videos like this on a regular basis Anyway, I shall see you around very, very soon. Thank you.